Minecraft Snapshot 20W16A released yesterday, as of the time of this recording. And with it we got a sweet new song and chains. You're hearing the new song Pigstep right now, but the focus of today's video will be unique ways to use the new chain block. First we need to recruit some help though. A few villagers replicating is a good start. Scaring the golems out of them is a great second step. And finally, profiting from their misery in the form of endless iron will give us exactly what we need to get our hands on infinite amounts of chains. Let's see what sorts of trouble we can get ourselves into with this new amazing decorative block. But before we get started, be sure to click that subscribe button and hit that notification bell. And if you don't, then everyone will know that you hate puppies. And I think you in fact love puppies, so be sure to prove it to everyone. Now, I think the thing that everyone is aware of is that the chain block is primarily designed to go with the lanterns. Their textures are completely identical, and of course the lanterns can hang from the chains. They are dependent on the chains, so if we break this, you'll notice that the lantern will fall off. But this chain is really unique. It's kind of like the iron bar in that it's like a four pixels. I believe it's four pixels. Six pixels? Nine pixels? This is it compared to an iron bar, which is clearly a two by two. And well, it's just slightly bigger than the hitbox of the iron bar. So the, this thing can fit uh, next to pretty much any of the other blocks uh, that, that the iron bar does, except some of them fits a little better. Another thing to note is the chains only go vertically and they do not connect to each other uh, on, the, on the horizontal plane. They only connect on the vertical plane, unlike the iron bars. But with that out of the way, you can see that there are certain things. You can have like these hanging flower pots. You have to use your imagination a little bit because the, like with the fern, it's near perfect. That pixelation is they're, they're right next to each other, but a flower is not as good so this trick only works I've gone through each of the things that actually can go in here and the only thing that I can find that works is the fern because it's the only one whose pixels actually go right up to it let me know if you found anything else where the pixels completely line up but as far as making your chains feel like a natural part of your interior setting you'll notice if we just take the chains and run them from the ceiling it doesn't quite look right there's something a little off about it it, it can work but I, it just feels like there needs to be something a little more and the hopper is actually really great it has a very similar color scheme and it you know it it it, it, it peters down to this point where the chain looks like it's actually supposed to come from it and you can either hang it directly from the ceiling it looks pretty good or I really like this you hang it from uh, a log a strip log as a, as a small beam coming out of the crenellations of, of your of your ceiling crenellation Molding? Trim? Whatever you call this thing that connects the ceiling to the wall. Oh boy, I'm useless today. But let's move away from this basic stuff and get into something a little more complex, more detailed. And here we have a room that kind of demonstrates some of the uses. And I don't know why, I was just, I was just feeling dungeon. Dungeon in a, in a, in a, in a place. <laughs> I'm not going to tell you what some of this stuff is because you can probably just tell from looking at it. You know, something that chains are a really good substitute for uh, in the game of Minecraft, since we don't have them, are ropes. So looking at this and imagining each of these chains as a substitute for rope, you get a much better feel for what all this is. I really, really like this table, like some kind of, I, I don't, I'm not going to get into it, but it's some kind of table where uh, it's, it's mechanically powered and the uh, the dispensers up there can actually raise the table up. Oh, I, I love it. So this table looks like it can actually raised and lowered as you need it. And of course, you know, Something pretty popular over on the Hermitcraft right now is a little guillotine floating around and oh boy I love the idea of having like a little a little rope pulley system So you know flip a flip a switch and it just releases And then of course a little cr a Crank on it of some sort for this to get this rope working and actually raise this thing back up Oh my goodness just just that line of thought of loan is just thinking about all the uses rope would be good for in Minecraft, chain is a wonderful substitute for. It's not the best Mojang. We still want rope. Give it, give us real rope. It's something we, we, we can really use. 
Not that lead nonsense. But let's get into some more technical stuff we can do with the chains. Uh, you know what's really cool about the chains? Since they only are vertical and we can't do the, these side-by-side -side versions, interrupting them as they go along with things like walls, fence, uh, even the grindstone is amazing. I, I especially like the iron bar, uh, surprisingly enough. Uh, really gives a sense of structure to it, uh, of, of purpose. That's the word I'm looking for. But if you can imagine for a moment that this chain is serving some sort of purpose to raise something up or it's a part of some kind of maybe steampunk build. If your chain is long enough in real life, it would be kind of loose and it might flap around a little bit and that can cause damage to the chains. So adding something like a, like this wall kind of gives it the impression that this chain is being funneled through this as a form of support to help protect the chain and, and you know ensure its longevity. But of course along the ceiling we have other blocks that work really well with the chain such as the dispenser. The dropper is really great. Unfortunately, the lodestone, the lo look at that. The lodestone is like screaming to have the chain or the iron bar connect with it so flawlessly, but it doesn't have the texture on the bottom. That one's kind of a, that one's kind of a disappointment. The texture is nice for roofs and, and floors, but oh man, that was so close. Of course, you guys know the hopper is probably the best block to go along with the chains. Then of course. We have, uh, what are these? Uh, chiseled stone bricks. Oh, there's so many new blocks. I'm forgetting what they're all called at this point. Just like the iron bars, though, look, you'll never unsee it. The hitbox does not line up with the opening. Uh, Mojang's, Mojang's totally aware of this, and, 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 and they failed. But another surprising one are the beehives, or the bee nest, to be more precise. Beehives are different. Uh, they, ha they actually do have a little thing on the bottom. And look, the chain flawlessly lines up inside of that. Oh, it looks so good. Of course, we got the iron bars here to help show, you know, some support that these chains aren't, you know, flopping around in the wind. We don't, we don't like our chains flopping. And I really like the grindstones. It takes a little effort to get them in this configuration. It's not too bad. But for, to me, this kind of looks like, a, like a, some kind of pulley system. Like these grindstones could, in essence, move up and down along this chain as it's being manipulated. I really like the way the grindstone looks. It really does genuinely feel like some kind of pulley system. And then, of course, this is small scale. Hopefully, you can take this concept and, and extrapolate it, build a proper large size one for yourself. I just wanted something that would fit in this room, and it wasn't really that great. But you could do some kind of weight uh, counterbalance mechanism. Like, you know, on, on one side is the actual, like, dedicated weights with it. On the other side, we're measuring, like, oh, is this real diamond? Real diamond will weigh exactly the right amount. You know, we would make sure that we aren't being, aren't being scammed by our friends. We could get real diamond blocks around here. But, of course, just seeing these small-scale examples is only, hopefully, enough to give you an idea of the concepts and not so much of an actual physical demonstration. So I have gone way outside of my wheelhouse <laughs> trying to make some kind of crane system. I've, I got this far and I'm like no I I can't build a crane but oh my goodness our crane actually has mechanisms on the inside now I've just used a small combination of uh, the dispensers with the chains the grindstone and the uh, iron bars wherever the they would connect to any of the concrete and now we have this really amazing mechanism just in the middle, it doesn't really do anything, but if you used your imagination and say we had this crane and it you know it had its end you know going way off in that direction, you could imagine that this this is the mechanism, the heart of it that could actually turn the whole thing and actually change its position. Like, oh my goodness, the chains are so nice. Before, if you wanted to do something like this, you'd have to use uh, fences, and it just didn't look as good. But we're gonna move away from this. I have a much much better example in here. So let's let's check out our real something that I'm actually decent at. Completely inspired by that room, how cool would it be to build yourself a dungeon and in this dungeon, oh my goodness, it's 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 a real dungeon. It's it's, it's a torture chamber is what it, what it is. Yeah, you got you have the the stretching table. You know, you put the you put the guy on it, and you know, you you turn the cranks, and those those levers right there are working. And the, the 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 oh, and you just get stretched and 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 ripped in half. I I guess is what what it did to you. I think I don't know. I've never been in one. On the other side, just just for intim pure intimidation, you know, you have 
just the raw meat hanging as as if it was you know what's left over of of the last victims here i brought the table back in oh i love this table it's oh it's so great look at all the chains we got all these random chains just hanging around to kind of give the impression that you know there's more room for meat to be hung in here and they need to be filled up <laughs> yeah we have the little table here with the little with the, with the saw so you lay down on it and you right through oh i love this torture chamber <laughs> i think i need help and then of course my favorite the uh if you, we need a lever is what we need we'll just slap this lever down right here and i think this will work i haven't tested this but you guys know what this is right you pull the lever and let's try this again <laughs> yeah, there we go. <laughs> oh, oh, yes. <laughs> I had to make it a full block. It, it was only a slab and it wasn't working. But look at that. How cool. I can't reset this now. It's it, they're, 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 they're like that forever now. And then, of course, down over this way, you just, we just throw a couple couple people down here and they can't get out. Help me. Help me. And we don't let them out because that's not the purpose of this room. The purpose of the room is to get information against a warring country. And we've we've captured the enemy. This is what or, or you're a thief. One, one of the two. This happens to thieves too in the medieval times. I'm way too excited about this room. I'm going to have to build this over on the Afterlife server. <laughs> it's so nice. I cannot wait for chains. They make all this just come to life and feel so good. Okay, wow. This video is way longer than I wanted it to be. I was, I was hoping for it to be a little shorter than this, but that is going to be it for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you got some really good ideas looking at all the little... Uh, things that I've been able to find and put together just as little examples, but that's gonna be it Thank you so much for watching leave a like if you like subscribe if you haven't share with your friends hit the notification bell and I will see you guys in the next one